Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create Ali Abdal's face cam inside of DaVinci Resolve. I have a picture of Ali over here and I'll be using this to demonstrate this effect. So I'm going to start off with creating a new blank fusion composition and let's go to the fusion page. And now here we will create this animation. So the first thing we'll do is we'll go to media pool and drag in this image like so. And you can also rename this media in one. And let's call this picture. Click on OK. And then let's just view this. This is how it's going to look. Now you can notice the resolution is 2000 by 1125. So let's just make this uh, in 1920 by 1080 resolution. So for that, we will just add in a background node real quick. So you can just click on this refresh icon. And if your node is selected over here, and now if you click it, you can see that it will automatically add in a merge over here with this background. Uh, if you don't have your node selected and you add in a background, if you click on this background node, then it's going to add it randomly like so. Then you have to manually connect it up like this. This is at merge one. So I think it's better to select this node over here that says picture and then click on the background so that you have uh, automatically added the connection as well. So if you take a look at this merge one, this is how it's going to look. I'm going to right click on this merge and click on swap inputs so that um, background is in the background and the picture is as a foreground. So right now the background is coming into this node as a foreground and the picture is coming in as a background. So I'm going to right click on it, click on swap inputs. Now you'll see that the resolution changes. It's 1920 by 1080 and that is because now our background which is 1920 by 1080 in size is coming in as a background to this merge one which determines the resolution of the composition over here so let's go to the single view over here now what we will do is we will add in a rectangle mask to this merge one so right click on the merge one and then click on this rectangle mask icon to add in a rectangle mask now you can change the size of this mask and move it anywhere that you want so let's just keep it to this size over here and if you want to fit the image or the video inside this mask then all you have to do is select this merge one over here and reduce the size like so all right then in the rectangle one over here i'm also going to increase the corner radius so let's just set this to around 0.142 now i would like to add some outline around the edges over here so for that we will add in a new background so i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this merge one and then while that is selected i'm going to click on the background over here and that will add in a background a new background and a merge as well so on the background too i will just change it to a different color so let's just pick a nice color over here so maybe let's go with the blue color click on ok and let's take a look at merge too you can see that um, it's going to look something like this what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the rectangle over here, the rectangle one and paste it down below and just make sure you connect it to this merge two as an input mask. Now on the rectangle two over here, you can also rename this. If that's uh, bothering you, you can just call it rectangle two and we will just click on uncheck solid and then we will increase the border width and that way you will be able to create a border around the image over here. Now we need to create our animated uh, line so for that again we will do the same thing we will click on this merge tool and add a background to this and uh, this is our third background you can quickly change the color let's make this green for now and i'm going to copy the same rectangle over here which is rectangle two and paste it down below and this will be our rectangle three let's just rename this real quick and once you rename it if you take a look at merge three this is how it's gonna look it's on right on top of the image uh, but now what we can do is on this rectangle three we will adjust the length and you can just play around with the length right over here you can keep it to any value that you prefer and then what we will do is we will just animate this line so we'll just make sure that we are at the very first frame which is frame zero over here you can see the number over here is zero that means we are at the very first frame let's create a keyframe on position and let's click on this icon and this will just uh, jump to the last frame and just increase the position and set this to one so basically it's gonna come back to the same position so now if you play the animation this is how it is going to look now all you have to do is add glow to your animation now here's the thing if you add a glow after the merge three this will apply the glow 
all over the place so if i just apply the glow after the merge tree you can uh, see that it applies the glow to everything that we have over here the outline the animated line even the image so you want this glow to apply on the animated line over here only in order to do that what we have to do is we have to remove this rectangle 3 from here Control x or command x if you're on mac and we have to connect it to this background 3 so i'm gonna hit command v and connect it to this background 3 so now what this will do is this will leave you with animated line over here so if i disable rectangle 3 over here you can see that this is our entire background 3 without any mask or any animated line but now if we enable rectangle 3 uh, we have this animated line over here cool now we can apply the glow and for that we have to apply it right after the background 3 over here so after background 3 choose spacebar and type in glow and uh, click on add and now if you take a look at merge 3 you can see that glow is now only applied to that animated line um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to copy the color from here I'm going to keep the same color so i'm going to just uh, copy the hex code over here and paste it on this background three click on ok so that we have the same color and on the glow we will just make it a little bit brighter so let's try and increase the uh, glow amount over here and you can definitely play with these settings over here if you have installed reactor then you have access to um, this cool fuse called xglow if you hit your spacebar and type in xglow uh, you will see this fuse over here uh, make sure you have reactor installed so go to workspace scripts reactor open reactor and search for xglow make sure that is installed and once you install it restart your davinci resolve and you should have access to xglow over here uh, this is a really cool uh, glow so if you add this you can see it just creates this really nice glow around the image it looks pretty cool and looks realistic but the problem with this glow is that it's just too resource hungry so if you play the animation you can see the playback frame rate down over here it's just uh, one frames per second for me but if i disable high quality and motion blur i think that might improve to two frames per second uh, but yeah that's the only downside to this but uh, what i would advise you to do is once you do the animation final step should be your glow just apply the x glow on this and yeah then you can also have these uh, cool controls over here you can set this to exponential or fibonacci and then you can uh, pretty much uh, change the settings of the glow over here um glow size you can control that over here as well but yeah that's pretty much it that's how you can create this effect now you can connect this merge 3 to media out and if you go to the edit page you should see your animation over here that is pretty much it that's how you can create this cool outline effect or the face cam effect inside of the venture resolve hope this video is helpful i hope you learned something new if it did then please make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.